Yes! Today we're going to get into the details and philosophy behind how to sell a listing. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and click subscribe and get ready because I'm putting out the very best content for real estate agents on YouTube. Today we're gonna get into how to actually sell a listing. So I have tons of videos on how to contact property owners, what to say, how to follow up, how to create those lifelong relationships that blossom into listings and sales and referrals and past clients and referrals of referrals and all that good stuff. There's tons of training. Um, I have over 500 or so videos between YouTube and my website. Zero2diamond.com is where you can find a lot more content, a free course, a 90-day action plan, phone scripts, videos of me making calls, the whole nine yards. It's completely free. 100% free. It's the very first completely free real estate coaching program. That's at zero to diamond.com. If you haven't went there and created a free account, go there right now and join the other 11,000 members. We also have a Facebook group. You're going to want to get in there so you can network with everybody. So I kind of got off track there. What I was saying was that I have tons of content about how to contact the property owners, what to say, and how to actually get the listings. Okay, but I have tons of agents reach out to me and say, that's great, Ricky, you taught us how to get listings, but now what? What do we do to sell these listings? I've had it on the market for a little while now. The seller's breathing down my neck. What do I do? Help! The first thing I would do is hit the like button right now and put a comment below and let me know that my videos are helping you. And do me a favor, everyone who is following and watching and subscribe and getting tons of value and is out there landing listings using my free system, please do me a favor and like and comment on every video that I do so that YouTube will push it out into the YouTube universe to where I can help more agents. When you like and you comment under these videos, the more comments and likes a video gets, the more YouTube recognizes it and pushes it out for me. So if you would do that for every video moving forward, that would help me out tremendously. So how do we sell listings? Okay, that's the magic question today. So there's two avenues that we can take when we're trying to sell listings. Okay, we have an active avenue. We're actively trying to take actions that's gonna help sell this listing, initiate some kind of offer in some kind of way. Then we have the passive way of trying to sell that listing, whereas we're gonna throw it out there in the universe and see what happens and hopefully something comes back to us. So you have to do both. Okay, if you want to give each listing everything you got and do everything you can to help that listing sell, then you have to do everything on the passive side of real estate to help that listing sell, which we're going to talk about, and we're going to do everything on the active side that we can to help that listing sell. So before we get into those two things, I just want to say this, that listings are going to sell when they get ready. Okay, you are not the real estate God and there's not going to be a whole lot after you price it right, put it on MLS, give it a good online presence, everything we're going to talk about in a minute and put it out there. It's basically in front of every possible buyer through all the syndicated websites and the online presence and all the social media and everything that's out there. It's in front of everybody okay so to speak so it's in front of your buyers if you've done what you're supposed to do on the front end then that listing will sell and you got to be patient a lot of times these things don't happen overnight sometimes listings do sell in a day and that's wonderful but on average they do not and so you know and markets go up and down you may be in a market where things everything sells in a day right or you could be in a market like mine where the average days on the market is 60 to 70 days sometimes 90 days depending on what type of property it is. So you, you have to understand that things don't always happen as quick as you want it. There's nothing you're gonna do that's just gonna magically make that listing sell immediately, but we're gonna get into everything that you can do to give it the best possible chance to sell the fastest. So let's talk about all the passive things you can do. Okay, this is very, very important. It's passive, so you're not doing a lot, but you have to do all the upfront work 
to make this really happen. So the first thing is pricing it. You have to price the listing right. Okay, I'm going to do another video on exactly how to negotiate the price with the seller. So I'll get into that in another video coming soon. But for now, I just want you to know it needs to be priced right. If you put a listing out there and it's not selling um, and we're way over the average days on the market, ding, 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 chances are that it's overpriced. Okay, there's nothing you're going to do to make an overpriced listing sell. You could get lucky. You could get a buyer that really loves it, really just becomes emotionally attached to that property and wants to make an offer and make it happen. But most of the time when you're overpriced, you know, the the what in general, that's what's going to prevent it from selling. And it may never sell, it ends up expired. Another agent picks it up and through the lesson that the seller learned on the first listing with you, overpriced, they say, you know, maybe it was overpriced, they give it to the second uh, agent at the right price and now it sells. So just understand that storyline and, and how you don't want to be that agent that, that let it expire as an overpriced listing and, and, and you know, educated the sellers for the next agent to make that sale. So it all starts with price. Okay, a lot of people's problems are end up being price related, nothing else. Okay, but let's take it a step further here. We want professional pictures. Every listing that I have, I have a professional photographer. He charges anywhere from 125 to 175, depending on the size of the house. Okay, a lot of people get drone shots and they do virtual tours and everything else. Okay, so you have to have a professional online presence as far as the pictures and the graphics and the drone footage and whatever that you do. There has to be an incredible online presence and that also comes all the way down to the remarks. The remarks need to be spot on. We need to highlight the, the most sellable features of the house first and we really need to showcase it. So once we have our online presence all set up and you want to wait until you have everything perfect before you put it on the market, that very first day on the market is the most important day. Most eyeballs are going to see it when it's brand new. People are looking at new listings most. Okay, later on when you reduce the price, people don't see that as much, nearly as much as when it's a new listing. So it's okay to wait a couple days to make sure you have the pictures right, the remarks right, everything right before you put it on the market. That way the first day it's on the market and it gets all that attention, you have everything perfect and we don't lose any interest there. Because if we don't have good pictures, if we don't have good remarks and people see it that first day and they glance at it and say, ah, even though it's an amazing property, you weren't presenting it right, they don't know that because your online presence wasn't like it needs to be. Once it's out there in the, the MLS slash internet slash social media universe, it's everywhere. Okay, nowadays it goes to so many places and every eyeball that is searching, every eyeball that is thinking, every eyeball that is looking at property is going to see that property. That's the passive side of things. So once you put that in place, it's done. Now you're just sitting there and letting it happen. Okay, so let's talk about the active things that I do once that part is done. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send a postcard to that subdivision or complex just listed. Okay, I'm always going to do that. I want to alert every owner that I can through direct mail um, that I have that listing. Okay, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Facebook post on my business page about that listing. And if I really love that property, I'm not going to boost or promote every single listing, but I am going to promote a lot of them. So I may or may not promote it. Just putting it on that business page, especially since the organic reaches went up for Facebook business pages in the last six months, just putting it out there and working on your following there is gonna, gonna bring a lot of activity, okay? Um, but when you promote it as well, of course, that's gonna up the, the activity on social media for that listing. I also feature it in my weekly email. Um, I do a weekly email. Those of you that are in my program know that I do a weekly email and I think all of you should be doing a weekly email. I've been doing it for 12 years. That's the reason I sell so much property. And I'll make a listing, a featured property there from time to time. That also drives a lot of traffic to that listing. And my most favorite active activity that I like to do for listings, which actually brings me so much more listings and so much more business, is I love to make phone calls around the listing. 
I like to take the listing and call all the owners in that subdivision or complex and say, hey, I use my phone script, my circle prospecting phone script. You know, how are you doing? I'm enjoying the days in the gorgeous. Don't want to take up too much of your time, but I just listed this house or condo or whatever in your condo or, or building or subdivision. And I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. And what it does is it opens up the door. It, it promotes the listing. Now they know about that listing. Now they know that you have it listed, okay? And you're asking them if there's anything in the world you could do for them, okay? So they might be interested in the listing. They may know someone who is interested in the listing. They may be interested in selling their property. They may want to buy a property. You don't know what they're wanting to do, but you're opening the conversation up to, hey, I'm an agent, I'm active in your area, and I want to help you. And so this is how we develop these relationships. So through getting the listing and calling around that listing, we're bringing attention and, and um, activity around the listing, right? But at the same time, we're developing new relationships with more property owners in that area. So it's a double-edged sword. It's cutting from both sides, okay? I love dual purpose. I love taking activities that have two purposes. It's not just for this or just for that. It's for many things. And if you'll notice, a lot of the things I do have more than one purpose. It's all multi-purpose because you want to be most efficient. And when you can do two things with one action and have you know, the possibility of several different kinds of results, that's when magic happens for you and your career and your family and everything just goes to another level. So like I said, there's two different paths you can take with trying to sell listings. There's active and there's passive. I think you should do both. Okay, and also remember what I said in the beginning, you're not the real estate god. You don't make property sell. They sell when they want to sell. What you need to do is concentrate on using that listing to try to create more relationships and grab more listings. One listing is not gonna be the make it or break it for you. Do not put so much energy into trying to sell each listing. Focus more on the relationships and getting more listings and more deals and helping more people. I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. Like I said, please click the like button, comment under every video I do. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. We'll talk to you soon.